she's not all that normal either. God, none of them are, are they? Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're almost through with the This Is series from Insomnacy, and these have all been very good. We're doing This Is Dami today. We have, I think, two more episodes after this. We're going to do Handong within the next week or so, and then finish off with the This Is Dreamcatcher uh, finale. I'm pretty sure there's a final episode that kind of encompasses everything or has all the members together. And all of these episodes feature, obviously, a you know singular person primarily, uh, so it'll be cool to see their interactions uh, you know, together as a whole, as the whole uh, group of members and whatnot. Uh, especially I'm excited next week to see Handang because I honestly don't know much about her and because she has taken some leaves of absences and whatnot for certain reasons or another that uh, I haven't been able to just know a lot about her or what she's like so it'll be really cool to experience that but for today it's this is Dami and for Dami she was actually going to be I thought my original bias in Dreamcatcher if you check out my reactions, my first couple reactions from Dreamcatcher, she was always the one that stood out to me. I always pointed out her points and really, really enjoyed her. And then over time, I've been able to appreciate the other members and kind of the vocalists of Dreamcatcher have really just risen up in that in those ranks. So now it's like between Sua, Xian, and Yun for that bias, most likely. Those three I just absolutely love, with Kayan kind of being on the outside of that because she's just so incredibly cute, adorable, and like way too much of a visual for Makne. Like it's it's too much um but those three are are definitely my favorites in this group uh, for that bias race but for dami today i'm just excited to know more about her because you guys have always said that she can get like a little wild even though her appearance might seem like she's a bit more collected than a lot of the other members or a little bit more quiet so i'm excited to see that let's get into it this is tommy <laughs> thing is like her her raps are sometimes, they go so hard, but she has such an innocent face a lot of the time. Let's do it. What? Okay, alright. I wasted shorts. Good lord. I also saw some shots of her back when they were Minx uh, recently. And she used to have long hair. She's been rocking the short hair for a long time, yeah? Uh, like, since the beginning, I think, of, of when they turned to Dreamcatcher. But her with long hair, she looks totally different. I didn't recognize her at first, and I was like, oh shit, that's Dami? Her in a leather jacket. She could definitely rock a leather jacket. She's got that air about her. Playful. The thing is, when you're around these people all the time, you're gonna want to screw with them. Mustache dummy. There's some hunting action. What a weirdo, she's sniffing her hair. Did you even call her a pervert? Yun is the best. She's so funny. She's constantly just photobombing Handang? Is, is she a bodyguard? Oh my god. Sue's laugh. We'll never get old. I have to watch this Idol Radio. Idol Radio is so good. I've seen Stray Kids on it. I've seen Luna on it, I think, multiple times. Um, they do such good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sun. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? There's so many bears. <laughs> Who's the smallest in Dreamcatcher? Is it is it Tommy or is it Kayan? It's one of them, right? I I thought it was I thought it was Tommy, but I'm not sure. Cause she just literally becomes hidden behind that bear. Are you? Me, right? So distinguished. <laughs> I am no dancing prince. I cannot. I'm gonna need a lot of drinks if you're gonna want me to dance. Oh, this is literally Prince Dami. 
여기 한번 봐주세요. 잘생겼어요. 땅이야. What is she shielding? Oh, the for the puppy not to run off the table. Oh no, isn't. Isn't Kyan afraid of dogs, right? Isn't I think she's afraid of dogs, maybe. Wait, this is like This is like her being this isn't Prince Tommy, this is like her looking after Kyan and being nice to her members. I feel like Tommy plays like the role somewhat of like the glue in this group and she keeps everything. It's her and Ju from like everything just completely running out of control. <laughs> Bears are cute. <laughs> Oh, she's oh, adorable. Who um assigned these animals where like someone's a chicks? Uh, Giu is a um she was a a rabbit, right? She was a bunny. Uh, panda for Tommy. Who assigns these these animals? She owns a wolf. Was it was it the company or were it, was it the fans? Was it them? Give me more. Does she want her photo cards? It's moving so fast, I couldn't tell who that was on the photo card. She has such a cute, round, small face. Everyone's on their phone. What did she drink that she said, uh, toilet? Oh my god, look at them. What? Where's this photo shoot? What is this for? They look adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, I've said it many times before, but what I love about Dreamcatcher is they really just seem so genuinely close. Not put together, um, you know, packaged and sold K-pop close, but genuinely close. <laughs> Oh, she cringed a little bit. Oh, is this is this Minx era right here? It looks like it. Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> I've seen, first of all, hold on, I want to break it back. I've seen this clip before. Could she not stand the egg yo or something? Because I've seen that clip before on Instagram. Okay, okay. <laughs> She's not all that normal either. God, none of them are, are they? She has her moments. What is with them in taking off their shoes? They do it like on all of their... They reacted to their music video? I like when groups do that. I have to see this. <laughs> Sound effect on me. <laughs> Holy visual. Shion, Jesus Christ. Also, Tommy's hair right there. God damn. <laughs> Just laying on each other. 
Do any of their V-Lives, like, go well? They're all so... They're such a mess. I liked also hearing some of her vocals there. It's nice hearing her sing in some songs, like, um... Her, uh... Her part in Deja Vu is less so rap and a bit more sing-songy, lower tone. She, she's really good at that. She reminds me a bit of Lisa from Blackpink in that way when she sings. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Wait, what? Is, is, she, is she saying it's a... In the MV, like a fake fringe or something? <laughs> I didn't really get that too much, but... Oh, weirdo. Weirdos, both of them. What is wrong with them? They seem to mix in a weird way as well from the previous scenes. Yun and Dami seem to be a little strange together. Oh, that was good. She um, definitely is a little bit more, I think, put together in the general sense than the other members. The other members are a bit more outwardly insane and chaotic, especially Sua, Xian, and Yun. That's why I kind of love them for that. Uh, but Dami, of course, just like uh, Jiyu had when I thought that she was going to be the most put together, has her moments for sure. I think she's influenced by the other members a little bit, and she definitely has her, her wacky... Uh, her wacky moments but she does also seem to relate to you in a way which is I'm, I'm happy that i did these two um back to back in that they do seem to kind of hold the group down and maybe keep them a bit more tame even though those two have the moments that they seem to be that kind of glue that gel that holds the group together and now i'm really interested to see just how uh handong will fit into all this because like i said i don't know much about her she was in a couple of these um in in a couple of these clips so it'll be cool just to find out where she fits in that whole puzzle and how she interacts with certain members and what her personality is like especially because i don't know exactly what it was like um when she came into the group or when she came over like did she speak korean really well did she have to kind of assimilate usually when that happens the members um at first seem to be a little bit more reserved a little bit more quiet so that's the kind of vibe i'm expecting from her um like think of like vivi from luna to where like she didn't really know uh korean all that well so she's very quiet seemingly kind of shy uh and then over time like you look at vivi now in any of their luna tvs and she's way more um way more uh i guess if you want to say like animated um her korean's great and she talks to the members so much better and she's more confident i'm wondering if hanang like over time became that so that'll be cool to see in the next episode uh, as always thank you so much for watching this video if you are new here please subscribe down below please like the video help me out in that youtube algorithm so it shows up for other people we can get some more insomnias in this group i think i'm at this point i think i've seen enough dreamcatcher i listened to enough dreamcatcher on my own time i've seen enough of the members that i can call myself uh an insomnia as one of you guys because uh they are definitely one of my you know Probably in terms of new groups I check out, along with NCT, one of my favorite new groups that I um, that I react to. Love them so much, uh, and it's going to be nice because I still am in that range where I can't exactly pick out all the members' voices when I like listen to a track. Um, obviously, I can pick out their faces now easily, but in terms of voices, I can still only really pick out um, Xian and Jiu. Uh, Tommy, obviously, for her parts for the most part, but I still mix up uh, Sua and Xian and Yuhan sometimes, even though those three are like my favorite in the group. Uh, so I'll get to that eventually, but as always, please subscribe. Um, new video probably within the next four or five days. I want to finish out this series so we can get to some B sides and more special clips, and I'll see you in the next video.